Welcome back to another installment in my video hardware series. And a number of you probably have a VGA monitor lying around that you'd like to use maybe with an older console, computer, even a VCR. The problem is these devices don't have VGA output, so we need a converter. And today we're going to take a look at the Neotech AV and S-Video to VGA converter. So in this video, I'm going to unbox the Neotech AV slash S-Video to VGA converter, and then we'll test it out. I'm going to hook it up to my Sony SDM HS74P VGA monitor. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at the VIC-20 AV output through the converter. We'll also connect the VIC-20 up to my EOYO 12 inch monitor that has both composite AV and VGA inputs. And we'll directly compare what we get for output with the converter. We'll also test a Sega Genesis through the converter. Then we'll go ahead and hook up a little bit newer old school laptop that has both VGA and S-Video output so we can do a direct comparison. Then we'll go ahead and hook the Neotech up to a little bit newer HP monitor, a 2020 model that has a VGA input, and we'll see how it handles the scaling and the input. So if you're interested in tech, audio, video, cameras, microphones, gaming, or want to level up your content, make sure you subscribe. I have new content coming out weekly, and chances are there'll be something for you. Now let's go ahead and unbox the Neotech AV slash S-Video to VGA adapter. The Neotech AV to VGA adapter comes in a fairly basic box, not going to expect much for the price point, but we get a lot inside. Uh, we have cables. This is a USB power adapter cable, an S-Video cable. We also get a set of AV cables. And uh, then we have the adapter itself. Looks like an instruction manual. Throw the box aside. Now the adapter is uh, all metal construction. We have AV and S-Video input on one side, and we have our VGA output on the other side, as well as a switch for 720 1080p. We'll see what that does. The solid metal construction looks really well put together. All right, so now that we have the Neotech adapter unboxed, let's go ahead and connect it up to the VIC-20 for our first test. Okay, so now I have the VIC-20 connected up through the Neotech converter. This monitor is 1280 by 1024, so I'm going to have to use the 720p mode. 1080 is going to be a little beyond the capability of this monitor. But let's turn the uh, computer on. I have the GORF cartridge inside, and we'll see what we get. And uh, it looks uh, looks actually pretty good. Uh, surprising, I mean, for a VIC-20 uh, conversion here, not too bad. I'm, I'm not expecting any great uh, wonders as far as sharpness and that's concerned. This is not a uh, uh, not really an upscaler. It's just a converter. So a reasonable, a reasonable picture, a little bit off center uh, from left to right, uh, but certainly very usable. Probably could do some adjustments in the monitor as well to, uh, to even that uh, that up. But overall, not too bad. What I'll do is I'll shut the uh, computer off and now I'll just turn it on in basic mode. So we'll go ahead and uh, turn it off. I'll take the cartridge out. And uh, we'll turn it back on now in the uh, basic mode. And uh, again, not too bad. Um, uh, you know, I mean, for what for what you can expect, most likely you're going to use this in a, in a gaming application, not in a programming application. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, it is legible, so I'll say that it uh, works with the VIC-20. Now let's go ahead and we'll connect the VIC-20 up to my EOYO monitor, which has both composite and VGA inputs, and we can actually compare the two. Now I have the VIC-20 connected up through the Neotech converter by VGA into the EOYO monitor. This monitor supports the VGA as well as the direct composite input, so we'll try both. First, the converter. And again, I have the GORF cartridge in here, so we'll turn it on and we see that it comes up. I'm not going to do anything to adjust the image here. I want to compare composite and the converter directly one on one. So we can see without any adjustment, the color here is uh, pretty, pretty washed out. Sure, I can adjust that on the monitor. But again, I just want to compare one to the other with no adjustments. And so now I'll go ahead and I'll connect the composite cables directly up to the monitor. Now we have the VIC-20 connected directly up with composite to the monitor. So I'll go ahead and turn it on again with the GORF cartridge in it. And we'll see what we get. And uh, here, as you can see, we get a lot more vivid colors than we did through the converter. 
Again, this is right out of the box, no adjustments made to the monitor. And uh, that's why I wanted to do this to see just, uh, you know, how much adjustment would be required with the VGA adapter. But I think, uh, you know, with the proper adjustments, we could get the uh, color saturation and the brightness to look good with it as well. I'm mainly comparing the resolution information that's coming through. So I think uh, this, is, this is an easy connection here, but of course this monitor supports both composite and VGA inputs. It's a different story when we only have VGA as an option, and that's where the Neotech adapter really comes in. So now we'll go ahead and connect up a little bit newer console. I'm gonna connect up the Sega Genesis again to the Sony monitor, and we'll uh, take a look at what we get from the VGA converter. Okay, and so now I have the Sega Genesis connected up through the Neotech, and uh, interesting how the scaling is working on the display here. For whatever reason, it seems to be reading it and compacting it. Uh, display looks good though. I mean, in terms of overall uh, image quality, colors look really good here. So uh, happy with that. I could probably do some adjustments again on this monitor to uh, stretch the picture out in that a little bit. But for the uh, purposes of the uh, converter, this is definitely uh, getting the image through. You see a little bit of ghosting in the screen. That's just a reflection off of uh, my shirt and other items in the background. So that's not ghosting on the uh, display uh, itself. So I have to say overall, uh, this is doing a pretty good job. Now uh, we'll go ahead and we'll connect this up to a laptop and uh, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, and so now I have the old school laptop hooked up with S-Video to the Neotech converter and then into the Sony monitor. And as you can see, the display looks all right. I uh, stretched the screen a little bit. I didn't uh, spend too much time repositioning it, but I did uh, adjust the pitch on the monitor to get a little more display. So. Much as I expected with the Genesis, we could go ahead and resize the image to fit. Now, uh, overall uh, quality for S-Video, uh, then through a converter, uh, looks uh, not too bad here. I'll just drop out to uh, drop out to a screen. We can see uh, definitely uh, it is fuzzier, but uh, we are losing a lot of resolution with S-Video. So now I'm gonna go ahead and actually play a video clip and we can take a look at the difference on each side. Okay, and now we're looking at an MP4 file playing through both monitors. Now we can see that, uh, yeah, in like a gaming type application, this looks uh, very usable. And now I have the Sony monitor connected to the VGA output on this laptop. We're fortunate that this laptop has both S-Video and VGA outputs, and we can see obviously the native VGA is a much higher quality, but nonetheless, we'll go ahead and take a look at the video playing side by side. Okay, and now we have the video playing side by side. And again, this is just so you can see, you know, what the monitor looks like in native VGA versus from S-Video through the adapter. And now I'm just showing you a side-by-side -side comparison of the S-Video through the Neotech converter versus the native VGA. And while it obviously looks better on the native VGA, for gaming purposes, the S-Video conversion through the Neotech is, I think, very usable. Okay, so now I have the laptop connected from S-Video to the Neotech adapter and then VGA into an HP 2020 model monitor. And you can see that it's working out fine. I mean, we're getting the, the signal I would expect to get from S-Video. So certainly um, no issues with using it on a modern device as well. So any kind of device you have with a VGA monitor, it looks like we'll be able to uh, connect up with the, uh, with the Neotech. So now that we've tested the Neotech AVS video to VGA converter with a few different devices, I think it's fair to say that this could be an option if you have a, an older device and you'd like to use a VGA monitor. Certainly uh, the quality is usable. There are some adjustments that would need to be made. I mean, and that's gonna be the case with pretty much any monitor. You might have to change the pitch and adjust the vertical and horizontal positioning, but most VGA monitors have that type of connection. And all being said, the quality in terms of the sharpness is about what I would expect from Composite and from S-Video. So again, this could be an option if you have an older VGA monitor that you'd like to use with a legacy device. So if you hung in with me till the end here, it must mean you have a VGA monitor that you really want to use with an old school console or computer. So I hope this video helped out. Again, the Neotech at a really inexpensive price looks like it could be a good option. Just needs a little adjustment when you hook it up to the monitor. Thanks again for watching this video. Uh, check out some of the other ones that I have on the screen here. And as always, I uh, will see you next time. Bye for now.